So I am in front of an all new Mazda CX-60. This is produced at the Hofu plant right here near Hiroshima. And I'm here to actually explore Mazda and to look at their production system. But one of the things I want to point out that I think is truly a strength of Mazda that is not very understood by general consumers is the level of precision and accuracy when it comes to the production side of things. So for example, if you look at Mazda CX-60 that I have in front of me, and you look at the, the level of precision of the panel fit. So I often talk about this in my channel, but only Mazda among many other manufacturers are able to uh, come up with a precision uh, metal craft work that allows them to have about three millimeter gap between the panels. So this is about three millimeters between the front hood and the front fender, uh, and then it gets even better. So between the front uh, fender and the front door, this is about 2.9, 2.8 millimeters. And then between the front door and rear door, look at that, it's about 2.7 millimeters. I don't actually have the gauge here with me, but I can tell by looking at it from my own experience, because as most of you guys know, I'm a former production engineer and I still work in this field. And so even the fuel cap, which is very difficult to align for most manufacturers, has a perfect alignment and fit. And in addition, if you look at the paint job, it's very consistent, very little orange peel. And as I kneel down and look through from the back to the front, the paint quality is second to none, even though sometimes it's very difficult to achieve this amount of uh, consistency in the white metallic paint. And the last uh, test here in terms of quality is when you look at these three sections, because this is a bumper built and painted by a supplier. This is the panel that's done by Mazda, and this is another supplier for the garnish around the wheel wells. And most manufacturers are not able to match the paint among these three paint areas because it's so difficult to get it right. In fact, in my 2021 Toyota RAV4, the paint, uh, the white paint, in fact, between the bumper and the fender looks like it's two different paint, even though it's Toyota the paint difference is more than 10%. So in terms of paint quality, in terms of alignment, in terms of gap, and the overall body integrity, I would say this is one of the best built vehicles in the world. And it may not be obvious to you, but it is obvious to me that there has been uh, a tremendous amount of dedication and commitment made to get to this level. And so I think the Japan-made Mazdas are indeed some of the best vehicles in the world in terms of quality and perhaps a lot of people might not appreciate it, but from an engineer's perspective, I think they are one of the gems in the auto industry. If you're wondering, by the way, whether this beautiful Mazda CX-60 is coming to North America, well, unfortunately it is not, but a related model called a CX-70 will be coming to North America, both for Canadian market and the US market. So we can look forward to that. Either way, because these are all built in Japan, I expect the quality to be absolutely top notch. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video about the Mazda production system, please go ahead and take a look at that because I explain why I believe Mazda has the most flexible and the agile factory in the world. And I specifically talk about their technique and method, so there's a lot to learn from that video. But for now, if you enjoy anything to do with Mazda, then you might enjoy the rest of this video, which is a virtual tour of the Mazda factory in Hofu, which is about an hour away from the head office in Hiroshima. Let's take a look.